Hey everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair, and today I'd like to talk about my morning. What I did this morning was I got a call from a client who said that they had a blue screen. Now, a blue screen, for those of you who don't know, is uh, sometimes called the blue screen of death, and it's an unrecoverable error. Uh, when you get a blue screen, it might look something like this. If you're using Windows 10, this is what a blue, a blue screen error looks like in Windows 10. You usually get some sort of um, some sort of error code that you can Google, something like that on the bottom of it. Maybe uh, maybe it'll say like here where it says stop code, page fault in non-page area, that type of thing, and it'll help you run down what the error is and, and it'll help you fix it. And this is what I was expecting because I knew that my client was running Windows 10. So I was expecting to see something like this, and I was uh, expecting to have to troubleshoot that. But when I got to her house, what I actually saw, and I took a picture of it, was this. And I knew right away that this was not an actual blue screen, because this is what a Windows 7 blue screen looks like, or or a um, uh, like a Windows XP blue screen, something like that. Uh, and she was running Windows 10, so I knew... Uh, right off the bat that this is probably bogus and then when I got to the end of it where I saw a contact 505-559-4597 or PC tech support I knew that this is not a blue screen that this was malware. How did we get around this? Well the first thing uh, that we tried to do was we did a control alt delete and then we clicked on task manager and we got here and then I went to startup and I found a couple of things one entry uh, did not have anything in the publisher, and over here it said BSOD, and one didn't have anything in the publisher, and it said BOSD, and then there were a couple of other things that looked um, suspicious. So we um, disabled those, and we restarted the computer, and that did not solve the problem. And so then our next step was to do a system restore. And the way we got to System Restore was we left-click once on the lower left-hand corner. We left-clicked on the uh, Settings tab. We left-clicked on Update and Security. Then we left-clicked on Recovery. And then we left-clicked on Advanced Startup and Restart Now. And then when we did that, uh, we were able to go through a couple of steps to access System Restore. What we did was, I believe we clicked on Troubleshooting and then System Restore, and then we chose a date that was before everything went haywire, and then we allowed System Restore to restore the computer to that date. It rebooted the computer by itself, and everything was working fine, and then we rebooted it a few times just to make sure. So what you wanna do, a good idea is, uh, if everything's working fine on your computer now, down here, if you're using Windows 10, um, what you want to do is you want to type in System Restore. And the first thing that you should see is Create a Restore Point. And if you click on that, you will um, see this window pop up. And where it says Create a Restore Point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on, and you shall see which ones have it and which ones don't. That's my optical drive, the D, and that's my actual installed hard drive is the C. Protection is turned on. We're going to create a system restore point. We're going to say uh, good 131.20, and we're going to create it. And that'll create a system restore point for this computer when the computer is working well so that if anything does happen to it I got a fighting chance of taking care of it by restoring the computer back to this date so you always want to do that when the computer is functioning properly because if you do it when you have a problem you're kind of already working with one foot in the hole uh, and that is really how you can first determine whether you actually do have a blue screen or not and or whether it's just malware and how you can handle it if it does turn out to be malware. I hope everybody found this video to be useful and helpful, and if so, please like and share it. And if anybody in the Memphis, Germantown, Millington, Midtown, Bartlett, Collierville, or surrounding areas needs any kind of in-home 
PC Repair Assistance, please feel free to call me, Dave Bensman, at Bensman Home Computer Repair at 901-830-4362. And as always, stay safe.